Hi everyone, this is Katie with IMG and today we're going to be talking about importing prospects. So in Product Lightning, you're going to go up into this Prospects tab. And you're going to choose Import Prospects. If you wanted to import them one by one, you could select Add Prospect and fill in those fields manually. But for this example, we're going to do a bulk import. So for this example, I've chosen a CSV file that has my first name, my last name, and my email. Um, everything you upload uh, in this imports window does have to be in a CSV format. Um, because it has my first name, last name, and email, we're going to use this option here, create or update prospects using email address. Um, if this came maybe from a Salesforce report or a CRM report that you had a lead or a contact ID, uh, you could select this option here. Um, or if you had accounts that allowed for multiple prospects to have the same email address, um, you would select this option and need their Salesforce leader contact ID uh, to be a unique identifier for each person. You're also going to select this compliance box, which just says that you have permission to email the prospects you're uploading. And you're going to hit next. And this is your uh, field mapping from Pardot. So it's going to go into your CSV file and take your header row names and map what it deems appropriate. Um, occasionally, it doesn't recognize your header row names, and it will show up as do not import. Um, for example, if email maybe said primary email and it didn't recognize that, and it showed up as do not import, you can hit this drop down and select email. If you want to overwrite existing data for prospects that may or may not already be in Pardot, you can select overwrite existing data. You do not have to, that's just an option. You'll hit next. This is where you're going to choose your source campaign for these prospects. I'm going to choose this default campaign just for an example. Um, Pardot recommends not changing any campaigns of prospects that already are in your Pardot. Um, that is their source campaign. You can if you would like. Uh, we recommend against it. If you would like to add a tag to the prospects you are uploading, you could do that here or you could do that later. The next step is to select your action. So you have some options here. The first option is to import prospects and add them to a list. My teammate Cassie did a video all about lists if you wanna check that out. Um, you can import them and remove them from a list. You can import those prospects and globally opt them out to make sure that the prospects you're importing never get any emails. Or you can just import them and have them live in Pardot not associated with any of the lists. We're gonna do that for this example. If you wanted to undelete people that might be in the recycling bin, you can select this option here. Next. And here is where you're going to confirm your changes. Um, you're gonna make sure the campaign is correct, make sure the file you're importing is correct. Um, any of the field names, if you have a long list of them, they will all populate here. And you'll be able to confirm and save. So that will take you right back into the imports window and you're gonna scroll down and you'll see this list of CSV imports. So this will tell you which uh, uploads you've done and which are complete and which are waiting. So this will tell you if you've created any records, it will tell you if you've updated any records, so if those people are already in Pardot, or if there are any errors. So if the person that you've uh, uploaded or people you've uploaded have you know, a first name and a last name, but maybe not an email address, you'll be able to see that error here. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, this is all about importing prospects and have a nice day.